Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to the Curious Expedition. So let's uh, let's figure out what we're looking at here. The sad desert. That's that doesn't sound that terrifying, really. Yellow Pani drylands. A golden pyramid, uh, of course, can be found in all these regions. And the magnificent drylands. It's kind of amazing how the entirety of Earth is dotted with these golden pyramids. So it looks like, um, I don't know that we want to go to the desert now that we know that desert regions cost water to travel over because it seems like that's just going to complicate our uh, inventory woes. This region looks like it has two villages, maybe three, depending on, I don't know exactly what all these icons are. But uh, we have that bonus standing thing, so I think it, it makes sense for us to try to go to the places where there are the most people. Full of anticipation, I made haste and arrived at the docks. The captain had yet to arrive, so I took some pleasure in envisaging my name in the newspapers. The gentleman tipped his hat at our expedition. He doubted that we were able to return within 80 days, but I had proved him wrong. He congratulated me and handed me a fine reward. Wow, that's a pretty good reward. The trader asked politely for a moment of my time. He was a collector of sorts and promised to compensate me favorably for any instruments that he retrieved. Okay. I'll find you some instruments. The trader was heartened by my acceptance of his request. He wished us luck and a safe journey. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see that tales of my previous expeditions had attracted quite some attention. Many new recruits showed up, eager for adventure. Who did I want to recruit? That's a real good question. I think we don't want to recruit anybody. I think we're happy with the crew we have now. At long last, our vessel was almost ready to set sail. Hold on now. So we can add capacity to our pack animals by buying better saddles, and I'm going to buy one such saddle for each of my animals. Uh, we can continue to buy more capacity, but it keeps costing more and more. And uh, just to be clear, this means plus two capacity over the base, not plus two over what he has now. So it would only increase his current capacity by one, and you see it gets more expensive each time. Uh, we have 195 funds with which to buy equipment this time. I'm pretty, pretty happy about this. Unfortunately, nothing has really blown me away here. A weather balloon to collect interesting scientific data. I don't really, I don't know what that does. We're going to take a couple. We're definitely going to take all of the rations. Please give me rations. We didn't use our campsite at all. That might have been an error. Oh, we should definitely buy some first aid. And then... We don't have any machetes, and we are going to a place where we're almost certainly going to see a need for machetes. Um, ropes and machetes both do kind of the same thing. They just do it for different types of terrain. Ropes make it easier to get through swamp, while machetes make it easier to get through jungle. I don't think we have any way of knowing what we're going to see more of. Um, you can take an empty canvas and use it to draw pictures, but I don't know how exactly, or maybe if you have to have a crew member who has a special ability, a particular ability. So, let's take some rope. Uh, we have more than enough shovels. I really don't know what we want to take. Let's do this. We'll take another weather balloon. They're probably cool. And we'll take the Costin Flare, which can be helpful in revealing nearby areas. Deal. And we still have so much inventory space left. Alright, I'm confident that if we can just survive, we can totally win this game. But just survive is not necessarily trivial. You guys haven't, we haven't had a chance to see anything scary on camera yet, but in the one game I played before recording, uh, I saw some, some things got pretty wild. Alright, after too many salty days at sea, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. I knew this place held something special for us. So we get to start at four standing, obviously. Uh, we may as well refill the water. We can always just throw away the extra water if we don't need it. And let's cross the shallows here and see what's up. So our compass is telling us that it is just not southwest, basically. It's not in the directions we literally can't go. All right, we found a village right away. The villagers appear to be the best scouts known to this region. The natives were extremely excited about our arrival. Or, sorry, were seemingly excited about our arrival. They welcomed us in a very friendly manner and even offered gifts. Hey, free cocoa leaves. And one of those mushrooms that increases viewing distance. Uh, we don't need to rest, obviously, and we don't really need to recruit, but we could trade for some stuff. 
So obviously I want jewels. I mean, we may as well. Oh, hold on. We also want to take these are flutes and those are drums. We want to take some stuff. So let's let's try to get the flutes. I don't know that we want to spare an inventory space for the drums already. I don't really want the coca leaves. We've had some bad experiences with these things, man. I have no idea what this metal cube does. It's got to be something, right? I don't want to not have it. I don't want to not carry it, you know? Yeah, we'll just do this. We'll pretend they gave us this stuff instead. Deal. Alright, don't want to take anything else. Don't want to take these animal tooths? Animal teeth? Or do I want to try to get the drums? I mean, we do have one inventory slot left. How about if I give you guys these totem sticks, which I don't intend to use? Okay. Now, let's not damage our standing by resting when it's not necessary. Alright, so remember, we just need to uncover hexes, as many hexes as possible, to make our uh, compass a little more accurate. A slaver camp. Hmm. Our trek stopped at a slave camp. The camp was littered with filth and comprised of a collection of cages filled with intimidated prisoners. A well-fed slaver welcomed me while sipping a cup of tea. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of slavery. Obviously, I assume the developers figured nobody would be. But the thing is, I don't know that we could... We have the option to attack them, but I don't know that we could beat them if we did. Oh, they have a shotgun. And some ammo. And some cool treasures. How much for the gun? Let's get this gun and use it to kill them. Uh, so we'll put some stuff on the line. I don't think it's likely that we'll be able to kill them and just loot all the stuff, right? I mean, it's worth a try. So let's let's put some stuff up that's that's valuable, and then see if we can just loot it off of them afterward. Slavers love weather balloons. Deal. Minus three standing for making a deal with the slavers. Fair enough. All right, have at ye. So we added a shotgun. We don't have a ton of damage. We have a lot of support dice. Okay, so we can't combine any of our dice into that. Uh, he has six health on a hyena. These slaver minions have eight. I guess the, the best thing to do is to reduce the number of incoming attacks, right? We need to try to get a positive roll. Alright, we can we can use some dice here to uh, get us some damage shielding. Please, no. Did not roll gun on my on my Tesla cannon, unfortunately. Ooh, they rolled a couple of attacks. We ate a lot of it with our shield. So I really I kinda like the combat in this game. I like the um the Tharsis was very popular. So probably... Oh, a defensive beam. That's cool. Tharsis was pretty popular for a while, so probably people are familiar with that. I feel like this this reminds me a lot of the die rolling in Tharsis. Let's rock a defensive beam and get some shielding. And then... Quick shot the hyena. Finish it off. This guy gets to be the next focus target. And then we go ahead and roll the dice again. Because it is possible to get... A little bit of shielding off of blue dice if you can uh, combine them. We could use some of our dynamite. Ooh! They did a terrible job in combat that round. Let's just try to push our advantage. So let's include this and that. Oh no, wait, not the dog. Sorry. Let's use blue dice because I want to try to um, have the dog deal, you know, just straight up damage. So let's alternating beam. Oh, I should have. Let's alternating beam that guy. He's on four health now? Yes, yeah, so these two attacks together will just kill him. Alright, we're eliminating them slowly. Yeah, they're rolling a lot fewer dice each turn. Uh, they stun one of us, so the stun removes his uh, die from the pool, basically. It's not a big deal. We can, uh, we can figure this out. So that's four damage, two shield. And this is seven damage, one self damage. 
They have two points of shield, so we, we hit this guy for five. Honestly, maybe we should just... Let's just do it to him. I know it's a little bit of overkill, but let's let's make sure we actually do remove somebody from combat. And then we're going to drop the claws. And I think I'm going to... We have two rolls left. I think I'm going to... Oh, you know what? That was silly. I was thinking that I could combine this die and that one to get a better shielding effect, but that is not the case, in fact. I just threw away a point of shielding for no reason. Okay, they're not getting a lot of attacks on us. So it looks like we don't have anything that combos with the shotgun, which is a shame. Um, I'm going to do this, because I learned from my last one, I learned from my last game, that this is a stunning attack. So that's going to remove some more of their dice from the pool. I'm going to not use this brown dice for anything that isn't damage. Did I just say... Sorry. It is a die. <laughs> Singular is is die. It drives me crazy. Listen, I'm a, I'm a huge nerd, so I play Warhammer. And uh, it drives me crazy. I know it's common British usage, but it just feels so wrong. It drives me crazy when they use dice to mean a singular die. Alright, well we can stun the guy. He has two dice, and the stun will only stop one of them from rolling. But it's still something. And unfortunately, we do not get any damage out of our dog. Okay, well I think we've done this. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, can I not... Hmm. So here's the question. Do I want to do this, or do I want to... This is kind of what I think is interesting. Do I want to do this, or do I want to try to get a better shot off with these dice? I think I'm going to go for a better shot. And there's a like a pretty good chance that I'm just going to get nothing out of that. Ah. Well, we got a little damage. And we get to... Alright, we get to get a point of shielding from observing this guy's, uh, this guy's moves. Come on, guns. Yeah. We really need better guns. I had a, a really excellent rifle in the last one. Alright, I'm going to take the, the damage here because we know we have him down. Alright, after we defeated the slaver and his pawns, we stripped what was useful from their remains. Okay, so we got to take some, but not all of their stuff. Uh-oh. The slaves noticed our fight with their former owner. Within moments, all the slaves had broken out of their cages. There was chaos, people shouted, and some of the torches had ignited a building. We had to evacuate before it was too late. Okay. So that's not entirely ideal. Uh, we can level somebody. Let's level up... Cook? Now let's level up this guy, because I'm curious if we can eventually level his dog. Okay, so he gained a red die when we leveled him there. That's handy. Uh... We're overburdened. How can we resolve this right now? Well, I can drop the water. You know, you gotta drop the water sometimes. It's not a big deal. Uh, and then we can cook this and eat it? Yeah. Alright, uh, it's gonna... Let's try to stand in a space that's not forested. Or maybe further back than that. Why don't we just go this way? We'll dynamite through that uh, that mountain up there. Aw, oh, minus one standing. Uh, okay, so... We should probably, at this point, apply some medical uh, knowledge. So I am just going to heal everybody, I think. I don't really want anyone... I mean, obviously Tesla needs it for the HP. Uh, the dog... No, the dog's not so bad. Tim could use it for the HP as well. Do I want to risk a wound potentially getting infected? Let's not. Let's go ahead and, and use the medical supplies. So I feel pretty good about that. We, we gained a lot of guns by doing that. It's a big move for us. And we found a hut. It's all dark and damp inside with all sorts of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with a wild-eyed stare as he chewed on some leaves. Yeah, can we maybe trade? Do you have anything cool? You have a dinosaur skull has not begun fossilization, will reveal a prehistoric region on the world map when brought back home. 
Okay, well, obviously. We can't not take that. So let's figure out how to get paid here, or how to get this guy to give us... Do you want a pistol? Yeah. Alright, what else do you have? World creation, waterfall creation, fertile lands, water drain. That's potentially interesting. We can get weapons. If we take water drain and then give him, like, a dynamite, that's too much. Do I have something that's worth five? What, a torch? Yeah, but I kind of want my torches. How about one of these? There we go. I don't know what cleansing... It says, uh, after his ritual, the patient will be cured of all kinds of mental disorders. It's tough to know precisely what that means. I'm not going to do it. Let's leave. And then let's eat. Yeah, Cook will want us to... Okay. Yeah, everybody's alcoholic. Whatever. You're all alcoholics. Alright, so what's our standing right now? It's still five. Oh. Well, that's the pyramid. We're not in any real hurry, though. Spirits are fairly high. We're, uh, we're rocking it on the... Uh, we're rocking it on sanity. So let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. We located a cave. The entrance seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We required a torch to uncover its mysteries, or we could explore in darkness. We have three dice that have a 50-50%, a 50% uh, chance of working, and then one die that has a one in three. Yeah, you know, we brought the torches for a reason. Found a small opening in one of the walls that seemed to lead into another part of the cave. Only one person would be able to squeeze through at a time. Okay, let's send Tim. Tim's more likely to be able to handle what's over there. Alright, we got the eye. After what seemed like an eternity, he emerged from the darkness. He'd found the remains of a long-dead expedition. A sign, maybe. Together with some valuable items, they were certainly in no position to use. Oh my. Tim, great work. Okay, now maybe we should leave, though. We're starting to get kind of far away from the... Alright, that'll get us... That'll get us out of here. Loyalty decreased. I just gave you so much alcohol. I thought you loved it. Alright, I don't know that we did super great on treasures there, but we got a super dope dinosaur skull, and we got four instruments for that guy who's crazy about instruments. Wait, where'd my drums go? Did I sell my drums? Man, whatever, let's get out of here. Uh, enter the pyramid. After weeks of traveling, great joy overcame me. I knew that my name, Nikola Tesla, would go down in the annals of world history. Alright, we might actually get to the end of the game. It's not impossible. So 140 for this golden pyramid. It looks like the, the value of the pyramids goes up, but the speed bonus does not increase. So that's interesting. The journalist is adding really, uh, really significant value. He's doing good work. Alright, so Navigator, we've talked about I don't feel charismatic. Recruit up to two units per expedition or reduce move cost when climbing crossing hills. I don't know that charismatic is really necessarily very good considering the crew limit. There must be something about it I'm not understanding. Maybe you can recruit guys from the villages and they don't count toward your crew limit? I don't know. We're going to take this. Every location has hills. Alright, so if anything, it seems like our lead has grown slightly. Um, we'll sell these pelts and the, these little bits of animals and stuff. And, I mean, it doesn't make any sense not to sell those. This, we're going to donate because I would love to get some... You know, we only have 70... But we don't really need that much stuff. We kept a lot of our equipment alive. Yeah, let's go ahead and gift this. try to get a decent score here. You can never tell what these guys are going to score on their expeditions, right? So we unlocked a prehistoric region, did we? Is that what happened? Is one of these that thing? Contains a buried golden pyramid. Hmm. 
Well, the Wahomey Drylands kind of seems, or this, the Dudley Drylands, it's very difficult to tell the difference uh, between these things, really. I guess let's go here. Uh, yeah, full of anticipation, I made my way to the docks. We had a little time before the ship would be ready, so I had one last pot of tea. The collector was eager to see which in, uh, which instruments we brought back with us. Here, have some horn flutes. Oh wow, 25, fl oh, 25 funds per, not just 25 in total. That's really nice. That's actually very handy. Uh, the collector seemed delighted with what we'd sold him. Together with his newly purchased goods, he left the harbor in high spirits. Another collector of sorts greeted me this morning. He hath tasked me to acquire a mysterious idol that was said to be located in a village in the area of our upcoming expedition. Guaranteed worthwhile recompense if we were able to return with it. So we have to steal an idol from a village. I've never done that before. We'll try. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. I was proud to see that uh, stories of my exploits had lured all manner of intrigued personalities. I was approached by several capable persons that were to learn the truth of the stories surrounding my endeavors. Who did I want to recruit? Probably nobody, right? A cultist. Hmm. That's very interesting. A translator seems like a thing that could be useful. What does this do? Increase sanity gain when resting in villages. That's pretty cool. I wish we had room. I feel like our current crew is pretty good. Uh, we don't really want to buy an improvement in our capacity, I think. Let's try to buy some equipment. So what is it? This is the treasure pendulum. It's probably pretty good, right? We still have 11 chocolate rations. I'm not 100% sure we need to buy f cans of old beans. And we could just bank. Like, we don't have to buy a bunch of stuff. We have enough shovels. We have torches. We have... Yeah, I feel like we're in pretty good place, actually. If they had medical supplies, I would buy those. Um... I guess let's... I guess we'll buy it. Let's see what it does. But yeah, I don't really feel the need to do a lot. I guess I should have probably bought an extra inventory slot on one of the animals. Rather than just let the fun sit. Because I'm sure we'll have to throw stuff away at some point. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Alright. Prioritize the growth of your inventory. Alright, an unexpectedly calm voyage. We reached the land of our imminent adventure. Refill the water. You know how I feel about that. Okay, let's uh, let's get out there. So this is not... Well, there's a chance that this lets us through. Okay. Interestingly, our compass... No, our compass is all over the place. Never mind. Oh, the... Uh... The map has some glide to it. We encountered an old campsite. There were remains of what seemed to be a failed expedition from long before we had stepped foot in this land. The place was overgrown with voracious plant life. All the bones we found had been cracked open and, it seemed, sucked dry of marrow. So apparently that's just a real common thing that happens to adventurers. Okay, we found two empty canvases and four chocolate rations. We're getting a lot of rations. You know what, let's just attack them so that we don't get surprised. Also, why am I not riding this water buffalo? Okay, we have lots and lots of dice. Not too many of them are attack dice, although the, uh, the journalist has learned some things. So let's do this. Oh, not this die. This die I'll do. An alternating beam. Just blow one of these hyenas away. And then... I don't know what... We kick one of them. Or we can headbutt one of them to stun him. Uh, they only have one die. So actually stunning, stunning him removes him entirely from the fight for the turn. I'll right, we'll give this guy the hoof. And a quick tap from the shotgun. And we hope to roll an attack on this die. Yeah. All right, that was pretty lucky. I mean, to a certain extent, things are gonna things are gonna work themselves out pretty well if you have a lot of dice to work with, right? Give him the hoof. Give him the claws. 
I'm gonna hold this, but let's see if we can roll. Okay, we rolled a different attack, one that doesn't cost us health. And we take all their stuff, and then we immediately cook all the meat, I guess, and eat it, because there's no reason not to. What do you mean I should be ashamed this tastes awful? You cooked it. Weirdo. Uh, Sir Davis the Water Buffalo took a wound. Unfortunately. I'm not going to heal him. We're going to save the medical supplies for now. Feels kind of crummy, but... As you can see, we use climbing gear to make that easier. Make movement across that tile a little simpler. Do I want to... Do I want to head backwards? Yeah. My concern was that this doesn't really reveal that much more um, space. Stone circle. We come across stone formation. Yeah, let's reveal some settlements. Yeah, obviously, we want to do that. Oh, wow. Is that giant scorpions? Oof. I think we are, in fact, going to do this because it improves the quality of the meat. We're not getting a ton of meat, but we're getting some every... Uh, expedition, and I'd like for it to be more effective at restoring our sanity. Okay, good. This is what I was hoping for. And we're discovering some stuff, and... Let's go visit a village. People like us. This should, this should work out. We entered a native village. The people here seem to be fearless and intimidating warriors. I could tell they were performing some kind of ceremony. I hoped we would still be welcomed as we tried not to interrupt their rites. A precious looking stone idol was positioned front and center in the village. We were guided into the village by a crowd of cheering kids. Our reputation seemed to be very positive. So let's try trade. They always have such cool gems and they never seem to want them. Uh, I do not know how to use this stuff. They don't care for it either though. Look at that, minus 90%. On the value. And it's 88% on the Tesla gun. They don't know what a Tesla gun is, but they know they don't care for it. They actually don't seem to like guns very much at all. Or bullets. A lot of our stuff is not valuable to them. Well, I think I would rather trade this than... Yeah, this is 30 funds and this is 5... This is a pretty big upgrade. And we're actually kind of short on stuff that's actually valuable. So yeah, we can't we can't gain more. Yes, the thing that lets you gain two or uh, um yeah, that lets you gain two recruits per expedition doesn't seem good at all because aren't you just gonna cap right away? Alright, we definitely need to rest. Uh, we unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders asked my opinion on the delicate matter of who had created mankind. God, evolution, or don't know. I wish I had any idea what these guys were like. Um, evolution. We explained to him that in our opinion, humans were a natural result of evolution. He nodded quietly as he listened to our explanation. So we would have... Boy, we don't have a great chance of stealing their idol. Let's sleep. Uh, I got a splendid night's rest. The following morning, I woke to face a crowd of natives. It seems my snoring amused them. Uh, yeah, we're still there. Welcome guests, although our standing has decreased. Let's... At this point... Let's hit rest again. Oh. A young child was so excited about our stay that she ran up to me for a hug. A rash was clearly visible on her neck and arms. I'm sorry, I, I, uh... I made sure not to risk getting too close. However, this left a poor impression with the natives. Yeah, think about how they're gonna feel about this. Well, we did it. We stole the idol after the villagers had retired for the night and departed the village under cover of darkness. That was only minus one standing, actually. That's not nearly that bad. It's not as bad as I was afraid it was gonna be. So let us dismount the, uh... The water buffalo, I think. Give us a little bit of extra carrying capacity if it doesn't have to carry me around. 
Oh, geyser. That is not usually how that word is spelled. Let's enter this stone circle. We come across a stone formation that was obviously man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Perhaps they formed a kind of map. Let's see. So we know there's a lot more ruins around. Wow, this area is really, really heavy on uh, interactable sites. The compass is still swinging almost 180 degrees, so not a lot of uh, information there. Let's eat some chocolate. I was really hoping to get better information on what might, uh, yeah, what the path over to here might be. I think we'll go ahead and eat the one sanity and save our climbing gear. Oh, the treasure pendulum's going nuts. We arrived at a long forgotten shrine. I'm sure it's because of this. All manner of plant life grew toward the sun. A circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. I still have no idea what the sand means. The fact that it's picked out in another color of text makes me believe it's important, but... Let's investigate the altar. A moonstone and a gold... Well, obviously we're taking the golden skull. We may as well take the moonstone as well, I guess. A drastic climate shift ravaged the region, and we were responsible. Also, very negative standing now. But we got the thing we were looking for. Um, so this doesn't seem to be very valuable, then. It looks like it just... It just vibrates when we're close to treasure, but we already can kind of tell when we're close to treasure. Um... So it looks like we can't... These flares don't have very much range. That actually makes them not that useful. Oh! We caught the foliage on fire. Let's just dump the other one. Uh, and then we have to throw out one more thing to not be overburdened. I almost want to throw away the treasure pendulum, but it does have 20 value. It actually might be worth selling. Let's throw out the water. Right. That's why we... Uh, I had a whole plan that involved, you know, throwing the water away if we needed to make space. Uh, oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay, well, it's too late. I walked through the fire already. It seems to mostly have not been a big deal. Oh. That's a shaman's hut. We should eat. Holy crap, sanity got really low there. Um... So it looks like the thing is to the east somewhere. I have no idea how far to the east. We're just basically going straight in the wrong direction now. Well, let's go to the shaman's hut and have a look. Trade. Maybe he'll have some cool food. Or... Tome page of extended vision. Yeah, this treasure thing seems to not be valuable to me at all. All right. Tome page of extended vision. Wow. That's very extended. That's really quite a lot of extra vision. So we have a lot of rations, but the rations don't really give us that much extra sanity. I want to come over here and like investigate all this stuff. I want to make sure that we still get to the Golden Pyramid, you know? Okay, well, this is a this is a temple. I think it's worth exploring the temple. We maybe don't want to make actual contact with the villagers. Today, the expedition reached an ancient temple located on a mountain face. It was a truly majestic sight. A large opening led inside. We arrived at the inner sanctuary of the temple. An ornate altar was located in its center. There was a granite goblet filled with a strange liquid standing in the center of the altar. Intuition told me that one of our numbers should drink from it. Intuition told you that? Because my intuition is that we should definitely not do that under any circumstances. Cook, you do it. Plus claws? I offered Edward uh, Masonet to drink from the strange goblet. He protested initially, but then slowly drank the mysterious potion. The moment he drank from the chalice, his hands began to shake wildly as his body twisted in pain. 
After the screams ceased, I could see that his hands had been deformed into ghastly, bestial claws. It was not the prettiest thing to look at, but should be a benefit in the next engagement. As we stepped through the temple portal, a, sto a massive stone plate lowered behind us and sealed the portal. There was no way back inside. So you have claws now. Yeah, he picked up a brown attack die. That's pretty nuts. Right? That's weird? I'm not the only one. <laughs> Alright, so... Wait. Now the compass is shown the other way. This is not great. I need my compass to be more accurate than this at this point in the adventure. Let's examine this tomb. A small pyramid just barely reached out of the dunes. It must have been some kind of grave built by a long-forgotten civilization. A small opening led into the darkness. We have torches. We entered the dark tomb. Mankind had not set foot here for hundreds of years. In the center lay a stone sarcophagus. The smell of rot and decay filled the air as we lifted the cover. Inside, we discovered a perfectly preserved mummy. All of a sudden, it started to groan and limp toward us. Of course it's... Of course it's a real mummy. Alright, so what is your what is your story, mummy? You have three dice, but each one of them has a 50% chance of being nothing. Okay, we did not roll a lot of violence there. Let's try again. Alright, so we got Big Claw. I think we're going to definitely use Big Claw. We got Shotgun, which doesn't seem to have anything that we can combo with it. We'll go Alternating Beam, because he has a lot of health. We could Tactical Advantage, or we could hope that one of these, that this will come up a hand and we try to get the stun. I think let's just take the Tactical Advantage. And we hit him with the Dog Claws. And then, hey, we got another three points of shielding. That's pretty good. We have a lot of dice now, so we should be fairly good at combat. Oh, and he completely dropped his roll. He got no value. He only has three health, right? Yeah. Okay, that was easy. Uh, and then we get a mysterious mummy wrapped in lin linen. Fame 100. Yep. Okay. That feels pretty alright. So we do have this campsite. And I haven't used it yet, but uh, maybe it's about time to do so. Also, we've had some pretty good luck evading these scorpions. I think we probably should not expect that to continue. Alright, let's see what it does. Enter camp. We erected our camp. It only increased my yearning to sleep on a feather mattress again. Let's rest. Huh? We settled down and I told the people to rest. There was an unnatural quietness to the night as we sat and stared into the fire. This night we, wi we witnessed an occurrence of unspeakable horror. With a frightful moan, moan and crash, one of our mummified samples smashed out from its crate. It twitched and shambled toward us with a sinister menace. Are we going to have to fight this mummy, like, frequently? Because that changes my opinion of some things. So we can get damage 2, shield 2, or damage 3. I think let's take damage 2, shield 2. I'm going to try not to use the Tesla gun. Okay, we got the big claw. Let's use the big claw. Unless I can find a way to not take damage from it, because it risks opening up a wound, right? This will stun him and remove one of his dice. So we have some shielding. He's lost a die. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to wound myself. Okay, he did some damage through the shield. He has the he got the big claw. Alright, and then this will do three damage. Let's re-roll these. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Punctuation. Perhaps bind him a little more carefully next time. Okay, yeah, we can we can spend some time resting, regain a bunch of And then I can just pack up the camp. Let's rest. But we decided it would be a good idea to stay here, and I told the people to rest. Even more. Keep resting. There was a tense mood as we sat and stared into the fire. I could swear I, see, uh, I, could swear I saw something pass by the crate with the mummy we had found a few days ago. 
It felt like an old, forgotten evil radiated from it. Edward Masonet has begun behaving strangely, and he's become paranoid. All right. But look at all the sa look at all the sanity. And then we just pack up the camp when we get the campsite back. I mean, it eats a lot of days. But that's pretty cool. That's a very powerful item. Oh, and then we found this, so we could have just left a lot earlier. Whatever. We're still going to be first, it looks like. That's crazy. I think we've had some very successful expeditions here. The, golden maje the majestic Golden Pyramid rose above its environment. Pluck will do it every time. However, a gate blocked the entrance. A small opening suggested we required an artifact to open the gate. Oh my god, it's really, really good I picked up that moonstone. After weeks of traveling, extraordinary pride overcame me. I knew that the name Nikola Tesla would be synonymous with victory. Yeah, we had some fantastic luck there in that we had already picked up a moonstone. Because if we didn't have that, that would have been a huge pain to go back and try to find one. Our journalist is doing some fine, fine work. I don't know what a good score is in this game, but 1500 uh, feels pretty good. It feels like we're in the right direction here. So, reduced movement costs in shallow water. Anthropological studies of indigenous cultures can be created for additional fame. And no idea how, but a character with this perk finds a bullet somewhere every couple of days. I think let's do this, because we already are incentivized to visit the anthropological, or, or di visit the indigenous cultures, thanks to our three points of standing. So that seems like it synergizes well. Uh, we are at 220 above our nearest. Uh, let's definitely gift the mummy. You guys want to keep that in a really secure case, by the way. Let's get some funds, and then this is 70-40, and this is 70-40. So wait, I want to keep this though, right? Because I want to give it to that guy. Um, I think gift this, honestly, I think we're fine on funds. Let's take advantage of uh, the score bonus. Alright, well that's going to be it for this episode of The Curious Expedition. We are at 5 of 6 now. The next video, come back next time, see the conclusion of Nikola Tesla's adventure, and uh, maybe we even survive. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll see you then.